Okay guys, Andrew here from Aloha Quills. Real quick, we're gonna take a look at our incubator. I've got some eggs that have been in here for a few days. Um, I'm gonna make a whole video showing uh, how to incubate eggs, but I'm gonna make a standalone video just real quick for this pot because I see a lot of people doing it wrong. So to incubate your eggs, you need a humidity of around 40 to 60%. Um, depending on what area you are, in the country, um, depending on what your ambient humidity is, you have to adjust the amount of water that you add. Now, in this, this style of incubator, it comes with a plastic tray with channels in it. Those channels are for adding water. What a lot of people do is they adjust the amount of water that they add to all of those channels. Now, the humidity in an incubator is based on the surface area of the water. So if you add a whole gallon of water in a thin channel, it's gonna have the same amount of surface area as if you added maybe a cup of water into that same space. So to increase and decrease the amount of moisture, humidity in your incubator, you need to increase or decrease the amount of channels that have water. So my incubator is a hover beta incubator. I love it, it works great for me. Um, it has four channels. I know for my temperature and my ambient humidity, I need to fill three of those channels with water. Now I can fill them all the way or I can fill them just a part of the way. It doesn't matter because it's the same amount of surface area. So I'm gonna bring you in and just show you that real quick. So as you can see here, I have my egg turner. Um, I have five of the trays for the quail's eggs in here. Um, I took the other one out. That allows me easy access to the channels. So the channels are numbered one, two, three, four. They are different widths and different lengths. So I know for me, I need to fill channel one, two, and three. That's the correct amount of surface area. And there you go. So you'll see on the top here, I have my temperature and I have my humidity displayed um, on a digital reader. Um, this will go up and it will sit at about 50% um, for the whole time that it's in here. I will push it up a little bit higher at the end. Um, up, I'll fill up that fourth channel because I'm not gonna be opening it to add water. Um, so yeah, that my, for me, I found that 50% works well for my temperatures, works well for my climate. Um, you will have to play with it. That's why you want to spend a few days checking what the water levels are in your area when you're setting up your incubator initially to make sure that you know how many channels or how much water you need to work for your area. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Liking and subscribing is important on YouTube. Um, and we'll see you next time.